What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time you're on my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. <clears throat> also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? Um, all of you guys who are new subscribers, welcome to the family. We do not fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We do cuss a little. Sometimes we cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. But ultimately, our goal is to love, evolve, grow. Positive shit only. Positive vibes only. That's what we do here, okay? But welcome to the family. To all of my new subscribers, what is going on? What the hell y'all been doing? What y'all What y'all got going on, okay? <laughs> So I decided to do a bonus series, okay? I am still going to do the generals, all right? Um, everything's going to roll just smoothly, but this is a bonus series called The Fuck This Aries Full Moon Energy Looking Like. Hmm. Hmm. So this is just a check-in, okay, to let us know what we may be up against, okay, and also the things that we need to heal and some of the things to look out for, okay? Um, and so, again, we come in still with the um, October generals, all right, but... We rocking, all right? Also, this is just a general reading. It's not personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found below. Speaking of personals, if you need a personal reading for the next 72 hours, really up until Thursday, okay, I am going to be taking, um, I'm going to be doing $15 off for my 30 minute to an hour reading. So everything 30 minute, 45 minute in an hour, take $15 off of the price and get your personal reading in, okay? Um, I'm not... 100% booked. I learned my lesson about doing $10 readings and specials like that in the midst of me having to record generals. This is a journey. This is a journey. We're walking together. <laughs> so I had to damn learn. And I had to laugh at myself because I was just like, oh, oh, overwhelmed. 74 emails in two days. I'm thankful. Okay. But at the same time, I'm in the midst of moving. And I actually thought I had a place locked all the way in. But shit happens shit happens and so because of that i'm having to go in the midst of like choosing between two places and so because of that <clears throat> shit gets real but because this is a journey amongst all of us y'all are my family i'm very transparent i don't hide shit from y'all i tell y'all what it do do okay as well as keep staying consistent and doing what i do do because i love what i do do and i love all of you you so let's get it okay y'all what's been up with this little double double shit like she ain't she ain't just ugly. She ugly, ugly. What's, go, what's going on with all the double-double? I don't know, but I think I like it. <laughs> yeah, as I'm doing my inner child, we just turn up, all right? So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Aries, Leo, and Sag in that order, okay? I wish, could somebody please timestamp? I would really appreciate it. Thank you in advance, and I love you, all right? We rocking. So first is my uh-uh, 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 uh-uh,
I'm an Aries as well. For some of Aries, for some of Aries gang people, it's new love, okay? For some of you all, it's with another Aries. For some of you all, it's with the father of your children, okay? For some of you all, it's definitely involving a Leo. And for some of you all, it's involving a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you all are coming out of the energy of lack. You're coming out of the energy of feeling left out. You're coming out of the energy. This time, during this full moon, this full moon is going to allow us to heal fully from those vibrations, okay? I do see a lot of you all could also be, uh, could have possibly uh, be going into a, a newness feel or, 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 or a feeling of newness. And for those of you who are already in relationships, your real relationship could take a positive turn for the better, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Leo already, okay? Or if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like things, you someone was focusing on work Aries like a whole, 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 whole lot. And now this person is coming in, they're slowly communicating, but their intentions in which they're communicating during this time is going to really blow your mind because I feel like some of you all, their intentions is moving toward, you know, that Ace of Cups. Their intention is moving toward that love and stability, but they wanted to definitely focus on that stability first. And Aries, this could also be your energy. During this time, a lot of Aries are going to be focused on their shmoney, and shmoney looks good. It looks good, Aries, okay? I feel like a lot of Aries are getting over, you know, that feeling of not being accepted. You're learning how to accept your damn self during this time. You're coming, you're shifting your perspective, which is uh, which is uh, going to allow you to have these conversations with possibly people from your past who could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Some of you all, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you all are feeling chained to a situation with an earth sign, okay? You feel like you give, you give, you give, you give just to feel stuck later. You're coming out of that energy, okay? During this time, you're going to feel like, you know what? I'm grounded. I can manifest whatever it is that I need to manifest within my damn self. So why the hell do I need to overgive to a situation? You come to terms with your truth, Aries, and you're living it in a very authentic way, which is allowing you to communicate effectively with people and communicate not in really a stern way, but in a way that let people know, look, I mean business, this is what I need, this is what I expect, okay, and if they can't deliver, it's not you feeling like, oh, what did I do, well, I wasn't good enough, it's you feeling like, you know what, it's more damn fish in the sea, so I'm finna, whoop, cast my damn line out, <laughs> and rule them in, big baby, you understand, so good shit, Aries, I do also feel like some of you all have literally found your two of cups, this will be someone new, okay, for single Aries, you will be finding love, I don't give a damn how much you want to run from it, here it come, who is it? Love. I don't want to let you in. Boom. They go to the door kicking down. You understand? So look, here it comes during this time. True love is coming for your head. What you going to do? What you going to do? Get out of that mindset of feeling like love is going to keep you stuck. Okay? For some of you all, it will be a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Aries. I see Leo. I see uh, Capricorn towards Virgo. I see a little bit of air energy, but I feel like as far as the air energy, it's more so having to do with clear communications and boundaries. Some of y'all could also be cutting off an air sign due to them just being very controlling and very damn arrogant. You didn't have about a damn enough of that shit. And, you know, I don't blame you. You know, damn it, because don't nobody got time to be feeling like, well... How can I make this work? Aries are fighters. We go after what it is that we want, okay? And I feel like when people are not communicating, they make it very, very impossible for you to even know how, what it is that you could do. It's like Aries feel like, you know, you take away my position in even being able to help the situation or bring power to the situation, not in a way that I'm needing to overgive to the point where I feel pissed off or feel stuck or feel betrayed or stabbed in the back after it's all said and done if it don't go the way that I want it to go but in the healthy way of saying I did that from my heart and so you can receive it and it's being received different but if you're dealing with someone who is very arrogant you know they don't communicate their issues even if it's no form of deception or anything like that you just want to keep your feelings to yourself look what the fuck is me in high school no one has time for that all right so whatever the hell you gotta do to get your point across for some people you know tell them write you a letter aries before you just cut their neck off <laughs> tell them look let's 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 write a letter to each other let's go back old school because this new way of shit don't work for everybody let's just go back old school write me a letter tell me how you truly feel some people try to before you just cut their head off because i'm feeling this energy around air before you just cut their head off really listen to what they have to say aries and see it from a different perspective take yourself out the situation okay so you can see it differently 
it, right? So that's what I have for my Ram gang. Let's move on. La 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 Leo. La la la. La 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 Leo. La la la. What's up, Leo gang? All right. So for my Leos, same thing. It's not about, it's about during this time knowing that I hold the keys. I literally create my path. Okay, so if I want to continuously move in a tumultuous way with a situation that I don't know if I want to keep going on or give up on, okay, that's my choice. But I can also choose, okay, to take a different perspective or take a different perspective. Yeah, take a different perspective as far as communication. Or I could also choose, okay, to allow a person to give me what it is that I give them so that I don't feel stuck or I don't feel trapped, okay? Let's give equally to a situation. Learn from past moves of impulsiveness. Some of you guys, um, during this time, you're having to, well, you're learning to balance out how you communicate and how you feel. I feel like some of you all have been feeling like you've been having to wear a mask and you're feeling like it's leaving you in a position where you, you're not kind of trusting your intuition and trusting what you feel. It's like you're trying to juggle out, you know, trying to do this and trying to do that and trying to do this and trying to, to do that, which leaves you feel, feeling exhausted, okay? And you, spirit is really needing you to get, needing for my Leos to give back to themselves. Some of y'all need to communicate and speak how you feel because y'all see, I didn't have no problem talking through Aries and I get the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the through y'all. So you need to communicate effectively during this time. Leos, I'm also seeing some of you guys are really internally feeling like you don't know, you're not communicating this, but during this time, you're going to communicate it during this full moon energy. Uh, with, well, I'm sorry, with this full moon energy up on this. But I do see some of you all are, you don't know if you want to, you know, focus on your money or focus on love. I feel like, Leo, a lot of you guys are wanting love. But it's really, I feel like you're needing to, you're going to come to terms with what you truly want. Leo, ask yourself, what is it that I truly want? Because I feel like some of y'all could have recently had so many relationships come in or relationships to come in. However, some of y'all are just so focused on your money, you're just growing. For some of you all, you're going to receive some sort of communication, possibly about a fire sign, okay, as to where, where they damn money been going. Some of y'all, this could be an earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aries, Leo, Sag, I see. Some of you all, some of you all are definitely dealing with earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like with this person, this person, they want stability with you. However, for some of y'all, I feel like you just really, this wasn't someone that you really kind of wanted to be in a relationship with this is for some of y'all for some of you you've been dealing with this person and i feel like the money not adding up and some of y'all gonna figure out why the money not adding up and for some of y'all towers gonna fall somebody's getting left out in the damn cold okay and i feel like if you're dealing with that earth energy capricorn towards virgo this could be happening um around that energy i also feel like for those of you dealing with the sign of scorpio some of y'all needed to come to realization that although you want love this person, for some of you all, is a blockage to you. They come with a bunch of damn secrets, okay? I feel like as soon as your fucking money gets to expanding and getting, you getting, you looking good, you out here sitting pretty, here come this person, and every time you can expect a towel moment from this person. I feel like a lot of you all try to go into things, balance and go into a, um, a relationship with a Scorpio in, in an optimistic way. I feel like it kind of started off sexually, okay? But I feel like this person then, Made you feel as if uh, this person comes in, y'all, and the way that they communicate is barely. That's one. And also, when they do communicate, it's more so like, yeah, because I was messed up and, and, and you went to the casino. And I mean, it's like it's like a victimized ass energy. Y'all are leaving that shit behind during this time. Y'all coming to the y'all coming to see the light. You know what? You a blockage. You know what? You ain't shit for real. Because I do damn good by myself. And every time I every time I deal with you, I find myself starting over, falling down two damn steps of the ladder and having to pick myself back up. So some of y'all are walking away from that shit. You're going to allow the towers to fall and you're not going to try to rebuild. Fuck it. Down goes the damn, uh, what is that, London Bridge. Dead go. Okay. For some of you all who own your own businesses, baby, keep going. Keep going. I'm seeing that you're needing to um, market differently. Be open to different marketing strategies. That's sticking out very strongly to me. 
Um, I'm also seeing with this, some of y'all could find out you got an earth sign hiding money from you. Some of y'all could find out, some of y'all could have an earth sign find out you hiding money from them. Some of y'all have a fire sign that you really just want. Some of y'all have a fire sign. Y'all been trying to keep this person financially, not knowing this person is karmic, baby. The wall is still going to fall because that ain't how you keep somebody. You love somebody who loves you for you. Okay? I don't know who I'm talking to, Spirit. See, I'm talking to about 30% of y'all, though. That's a nice percentage. You love somebody because they love you for you. Okay? Y'all family, we family. Don't make me get the bill. For some of you all, you giving too much. You over giving. So when situations don't go how you expect it, you broken. And you having to find your balance again. For some of y'all, you balancing just fine. You're in a very grounded place. Remain that way. Some of you going to find out you got an earth sign that's juggling you. You is the money chick. And another one, London Bridge going to fall down anyway because karma's a bitch. Okay? That's what I have for my Leo. So, oh, also, Leo, some of you need to have a, a communication with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you cut this person out before. When you cut this person out, shit start looking good for you. But cutting people out is still not leaving a fair resolution. Okay, a fair solution to things, especially if you have children with this person. Some of y'all are dealing with them straight on, strictly on a note of, you know what, if I don't communicate with your ass at all, that's how we communicate. Wrong. Fix it, baby. During this time, spirit is calling you to fix it. It's going to really put you in the seat, back in that seat of the motherfucking line. Hear me roar. You understand? But you need to face that. Go and wrestle your big bear. That communication has to be had. It's faded. You're going to have it voluntarily or you're going to have it involuntarily. But you're holding yourself up if you don't have that conversation that you know you need to have. Especially if it's with another fire sign as well or as or, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay? Some of y'all, the end outcome is you cutting this person off. But why stand in your own way and block your own, your own blessings? Forgive. Release. Don't forget shit. Learn from it. But don't hold on to it. Let it go. Okay, that's what I have for y'all, my babies, during this time. Y'all need that reading? Aries and Leo, hit me up. It's a special going on. It's a special going on. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, oh, what's up, Saggy babies? What's popping? Okay, this is what I have for my Sagittarius for this Aries. Full moon energy update. The fuck this Aries full moon finish do do. Okay. I do see Saggies. A lot of y'all are learning karmic lessons during this time. Some of y'all that involve the air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you all been waiting on this person to come forward. Here they come. Okay. But some of y'all it's a strong um, Aquarius vibe. Okay. I feel like this person possibly made you feel like you weren't good enough. Or maybe you could have did this to this person. This could also be a Gemini. Capricorn, Libra in the building. But I feel like for some of y'all, there was a feeling of rejection, not being good enough, okay? For some of you, it's a cancer, okay? But I feel like some of y'all heal from a vibration, okay? Or maybe this person healed from your energy, baby, and then here comes this connection again, but it's still coming back toxic. It's not coming back right. It's not quite, not quite right for you yet. We lose ourselves in this situation. You see this picture, live life in full bloom? Literally, you got to, life is what you created to be, and it starts within the mind. Some of y'all are very, y'all have a very toxic mindset. You want a person to come back, but you already thinking about the negative shit that's going to occur when they come, when they came, when they come back. Allow the past to be the past, because if you want to live in the past, how the fuck is you going to move forward? How? You know, you have to ask yourself that, okay? But some of you all, you definitely have, you're learning something. For some of you all, you're very... You're very creative during this time. Trust your intuition because it is booming. All y'all fire signs, intuition is popping, okay? Trust what you feel. Look what people said, folks be lying and shit. Trust what you feel, okay? Some of you all have people coming back, Apollo line. Yes, Mocha said Apollo line. They is uh, apologizing, but it ain't. they still ain't telling the damn truth. They still want to go back and forth for, well, you did this and you did that. And it's because I did this. They justify. Some of y'all have people your lives that do not take accountability and it's really about you choosing you do you want to 
is arguing going to going to going to fix the situation? Okay, is the is the conflict going to fix the situation, or is somebody just going to choose to drop the rope in the war of tug of war? Because when you drop the rope, if they pull it too motherfucking hard, they fall. Okay, they fall, and you got to understand that. But you got to know the power within you that you create that where you could choose to live in that shit or you could choose to move forward and learn from it because it's definitely this energy with this Aries full moon, baby. It's a lesson in this. It's a lesson in the putting in this up to you to choose to learn from it, okay? But some of you all, you're dealing with a Capricorn. And I feel like you and this person has healed from things that was going on in the past and you felt like things was going all smooth and everything and all of a sudden this person just stops communicating with you, okay? I feel like this person just wants to move forward. They don't want to deal. Some of you all are dealing with uh, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I feel like with this water energy, this water energy could have been someone you left out in the past. Maybe you maybe you um, move quickly on an assumption. Some of y'all are going to find out some information that you weren't aware of, okay? Uh, regarding of the sign I'm hearing, Spirit says all signs with that energy. This is a strong earth sign, okay? If you're dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, some of y'all going to find out some information that you weren't aware of, okay? But some of y'all, this person could have actually told you in the past that he was leaving a partner and then boom, they asked by moves, no communication. Some of y'all, you have a toxic person coming back during this Aries full moon. This could be a vibration that you're trying to heal from. You're still trying to heal. And then as soon as you get to your pinnacle, your pinnacle point on your best shit, boom, here this person comes. And it's because this communication needs to happen. Needs to happen. You can't go through life and circumstances and situations just cutting people off and assuming that, okay, well, that fixed it. No, because if it's a karmic lesson in the person, in in, in that energy that's, that keep coming back to you, baby, you got to learn a lesson in order to cut it off. You got to cut it off with clarity, okay? But I definitely see folks getting cut off. Some of y'all could have been cut off by an air sign, okay? And this person just kind of ghosted you, didn't really communicate what you did. Or if they did communicate, it was very sharply, but they didn't really just give you full clarity. They left you feeling like a bit of insecurity, like, well, what the hell? Like, what did I do? You know, you could have been doing every damn thing, right? You could have been on your best shit, but this person, okay? needs to heal the conflict within self because some of y'all are dealing with people who have accountability issues that's going to come to the forefront some of y'all are dealing with people who ain't let their damn pads go they have abandonment issues some of y'all are definitely going to be healing karmic cycles hereditary i feel like family cycles i'm keep hearing family cycles family cycles are going to be healed during this time, okay? Some of y'all are definitely reconciling with your family, your ex-husbands, ex-wives, and trying to restore family situations. Communication needs to be had, baby, in order to bring the beauty to things. You got to communicate effectively. Cutting somebody off is not the answer. And it's the fire sign way. All of us, Aries, Leo, and Sat, it's the fire sign way, but it's also some shit that we don't appreciate when we are on the receiving end of it. And I feel like maybe you could have done this to a person in the past and now they've done it to you. And now you're kind of seeing how they felt. Or it could be, or flip it how it goes, Saggy. But I'm strongly seeing that after this communication is had, things can move forward in a beautiful way. But you're needing to choose to be real with yourself. To not be in a place of feeling like you're rejected or you're not good enough or you're not able to be accepted because of something that you did because to be honest with you I'm seeing for some of y'all you didn't do shit but just didn't communicate but this person was affected in a very toxic way because for some of y'all you got people obsessing over you or you obsessing over situations that weren't able to heal due to effective communication you can choose when these people come back a pile of line you can choose to forgive learn from it and move on for from move on from it or forgiveness I keep hearing forgiveness with you guys as well Forgiveness is needed in the situation because for some of y'all, you're blocking your own blessings because you have to obtain the lesson in order to go forward. It's like you're needing to have these conversations and be real with yourself and have this time of reflection in order to next phase on some shit, you know? <clears throat> so I love y'all and I pray that this makes sense. If you guys are needing a personal reading, please hit me up. All that information can be found below in the description box. And until we get to these October generals, much love, much light, much abundance, and namaste.